Dad, where what? are my jeans? I'm late for school. I can't find anything. Here they are. And my socks? <clears throat> Hi, Mom. Here. Hey, baby. Why are you up already? You should be sleeping. Oh, you don't let me sleep. What's this? Your stationery. It was special. Special design stationery. So what? So what? What can I do with this now? Explain it, please. Sort it out. Sort it out? I don't think so. It's useless now. Our house is glued with tape and nails and everything is breaking. And screws too. Of course, those two. Just look around you. I think it's okay. Like other houses. Other houses? I don't want my house like others. I want to live well. Surrounded by beautiful things. I mean, I'm an art critic, not a hoarder. Nina. Nina what? Nina what? How old is that sofa? Mm, 10 years. 20, better. 20. We bought it before Nikki was born. Mm. But the sofa is still okay. Okay. What are you saying? Okay. Everything is fine for you. We live in a dump. And by the way... What's this Oh, now? it's burning. Oh, oh my shirt. What, what, what have you done? Fine. Take it easy. Oh, look at it. The back of the shirt is all burned. Uh, underneath the jacket, it'll be fine. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Hello, my love. Are you waiting for me? Let's go to work. Listen, we're working on a new aircraft engine. As you know, aircraft engines have pistons, turboprops, and turbojets, and also the ones with rocket engines. They are very powerful. Do you have any questions? Do you have bathrooms in here? Of course we do. Ah, but first, I'll show you the lab. It'll be very helpful to let you get your diploma. Come in. Come in. Here, this is the lab. Mm. You guys do all your work here? Mm. Here's where you make the engines too? Yup. Uh, are all the computers this old or just this one? Uh, there's no funding right now. We promise new ones next year, but it's okay. Here, the board, eraser, markers, more than enough to get to work. Can you at least get a magnetic board or something? Yes. Uh, Mr. Feather, maybe you could sign our class assignment so we could go. That way, we wouldn't be a real pain for you. Feather, I'm so glad to Let see you. Let me introduce you to our chief accountant, Miss Harry. Hello. Yeah, hi, nice to meet you. Mr. Feather, we're in trouble. The AC just broke and the water is leaking everywhere. My office is flooded. Please, please come and help me. I don't know what to do. Um, 
I'm sorry. I'm giving them the tour of the facilities. Call a plumber. I already did it, and he doesn't answer. Please help me. I beg you. You know what to do. I don't know what to do. Please help. Go help her. Mm, okay. Make yourselves at home. I'll be right back. Let's go. Come on, oh, show me. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Fetter. Let's go to lunch, I'm yeah. So yeah. Sorry to be new you. students? Yes. You're lucky to have Feather as your new supervisor. Surprise! Oh, the help is here! Just look at that. Get me out of here, please! Everything is so... Can you face it? But you still need to call the plumber. Yes. I think it needs professional of course. help. First thing in the morning, you saved the day. Without you, thank you, this Fedor. Been even thank worse. you so much. You're welcome. It'll be okay for a while, but uh, it has to be fixed. Do you want coffee or tea or water? Uh, whatever, Any, whatever you, you want. want. No, it's okay. I gotta go. <sighs> okay. And now who will clean I don't know. all this? Uh, Where's my but purse? He fixed it. As a scientist, uh, yeah. he's a great plumber, right? What are we celebrating? It's just that our boss arranged a get together for a toast. I was chilling the wine. Ah, uh, what's the reason? I think it's something personal. It's his PhD thesis today. PhD thesis? Well done, I didn't even know that. You have to talk to people more often. Be more open to communicate. We do this all the time. But you're always in the lab, or fixing things. Uh, and what is it about? It's about a model to create some kind of aircraft jet engine. I beg your pardon? That's my thesis. I worked on it five years. Five years! I spent every weekend, all day, in the library. He says he's not finished yet. Did you show it to him? Well, yeah. I thought he was interested in it. <laughs> You're so naive. We'll get it perfectly right. He's a good manager, but he's not smart enough for a doctoral thesis. That's a fact. Don't get upset. You can do another thesis. You are very smart and creative. I know you can do it. Well, gotta go. They're waiting for me, okay? Why am I always spilling the beans? So easy to say. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, guys, 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 I listen. Remember that. <laughs> Are you ready? My dear friends and colleagues, before accepting this well-deserved celebration, I want to thank you all. Yeah, yeah, all of you. Without your help, I would have never been able to get this great achievement that I've been yearning for so long and want to... Uh, Fetter, pal, come in, come in, please. <laughs> hey, listen, why so late? We were waiting for you. Um, uh, I, hey, I wanted to tell you that I really appreciate everything you've done. And by the way, I want to make a toast. Here you go. When I get my PhD, I will have the chance to have my own foundation. Did, uh, did you want to make a toast? To you? No. Uh, okay, Gotta well, go. Thanks. Well then, congratulations. Uh, uh, yeah. Hey, Feather, what are you doing? Are you going home or on a trip? You never leave so early. I'm going home. You're usually here until 8. I looked at her grid so nobody steal it. It's not very expensive, though, but I know you love it. 
You should get rid of that junk, Feather. Mm. You will be Doctor of Science soon. You deserve better. Your poor car discredits you. You need to improve. Besides, you ruined the landscape. It won't happen ever again. Really? Are you getting a new one? Well, I quit. I'm leaving. Now I'm really shocked. If Feather quits, so will I. Tomorrow I will go to HR. Listen to what I'm saying. I really had to do something about my job. It was time to leave it. And the gas just ran out. Don't you worry, we'll sort it out in no time. I know. It just stopped. It's not working. Mm. Can I take a look? Sure. Do you have a screwdriver? Nah, I don't. Well, start up the engine. Do it now. Nina, are you home? Look, this is for you. Ugh. I changed some spark plugs. Why this suitcase? Uh, are you traveling? Feder, I'm going to Italy. To Italy? Yes. But you didn't say anything about it. What's the point of that? You're only interested in your stupid work. Italy is nice. I don't know how life is over there. I know very well how life is there. People have a nice life there. Everybody has a nice life but us. We don't even have a nice car. What are you saying? What about Greg? <sighs> Greg is not even good enough for the junkyard. Greg, your salary is so sad. You are ashamed to talk to your boss because you don't need a thing. Anyone in your place would have quit a long time ago. Huh? I quit, by the way. I quit. 20 years. We've been together for 20 years. And we haven't had a decent vacation. Forgetting 95? The raft, the river, the tent, campfire, the guitar. If you want, we can go again. Where? There. To the river? Uh-huh. What will we do there? Getting bitten by mosquitoes? No, thank you. If you weren't afraid of airplanes, we could travel all over Europe. Nina, I'm not afraid of airplanes. It's just I feel better on the ground. Oh, come on. Stop making excuses. I am an art critic, by the way. In case you forgot it, I need to see the culture of the world. All my life I've dreamt about visiting London. You said you're going to Italy. You never listen to me at all. I'm going to Italy with Boris. He needs an interpreter to sign the contract. Do you understand that I have to go? This is important for my career. Nina, don't worry. I understand. I'll be okay here with Nikki. What are you doing? No, uh, just a list of what to buy while you're in Italy. What list? Do you care that I'm leaving? I'm leaving! I'm leaving! What if the plane blows up? Nina, what could happen to you? It's just for a few days. <sighs> Better. Another man in your place would have... Would what? Why is it taking you so long? We'll miss the flight. Hey, maybe we shouldn't go. Feder doesn't fly and he has a yeah. bad feeling about yeah, it. Yeah, sure. It's just because chickens don't fly. We're gonna be fine. We'll see the Louvre or whatever you want. <laughs> the Louvre is in France. 
You're a very smart woman. Yeah, you can do it. You're very strong. I have to sign that contract. I need you. You're very important to me, okay? Let's go, let's go. Mom, Dad, are you home? Nikki, time to eat. Wash your hands. Where's Mom? Your mom went to Italy for the work. We will be here for ourselves. Just you and me. What? Dad, are you okay? You let her go? She never travels alone. She's always with a friend. Nikki, your mom will be working. It's a business trip, okay? And Boris is her boss. You know that. Well, you know better. Hey, Dad, I was invited to a club. Can you give me some money? Uh, sure. I'm sorry. It's all I have. Dad, I can't even buy a soda with this. Mm, that's all I have. I'm not surprised. Do you have a, what's it called, scientific work? You're just an engineer. A gear of a huge mechanism. By the way, when will you get paid? Don't forget I have to pay for college. Mm. Listen, son, it's just, I don't have a job for now. I quit. Are you serious? Wait, so you finally did it? <laughs> they offered you a better job, maybe? Maybe at the bank? Nope, I just quit. What do you mean, just like that? How am I gonna pay for school now? They're just gonna kick me out. <sighs> Nikki, mm, don't you worry. It just happened. But I'll do something about it. It just happened. That's why mom left us. She went to Italy with a rich man and you stay at home cooking some soup? It's unbelievable. I can't believe it. Yeah, totally. And delicious. Hey, Nick. The soup. Good morning. Hello. I got it. Oh, my goodness. I... Oh, thank you, Fedor. I need to rewash everything now. Could you help me, please? It's falling down it's over just... and over all the time. Thank you for helping me. Really, I appreciate it. Come on. I'm the lucky one with Nina. Uh-huh. By the way, where did she go with such a young, handsome man in a luxury car? She went on a business trip. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Business trip, huh? You're such a fool. You should keep an eye on your beautiful wife and don't be so gullible. <clears throat> She's not just a woman, but an art historian and interpreter. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, it's okay, Dale. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. Mmm, <clears throat> good job. Are you busy? I, I have it. something to tell you. What? Uh, the TV set is broken. My wife was watching new episodes of her show, and the TV just stopped working. She's obsessed with it. The technicians have not arrived yet, and I can't stand my wife anymore. Oh. I came to the right place. Uh, bottoms up. Between the first and the second drink, just a small break. Mm. <sighs> what? What is it? You must be thinking that I asked you to come so I wouldn't be alone drinking. That's it, isn't it? Come on, let's go.
Now I can't see anything. Ah. Uh. Ah, oh, you did it! I can see now. But there's uh. no sound. Someone's knocking. I'll go. Tell them we won't buy anything. Oh, the sound is on, Fedor. Uh, look who's here! Hello, everyone. Ah, uh, finally you're here. But we don't need anything now. You don't? I have a service schedule for a TV repair. I have it here. Look! It's working already, don't you see? Hey, you! What company are you from? No, uh, no company. I'm just a neighbor. <laughs> Fedor is great at fixing things. Working with no license? We need to see it. What license? For repairs and services, show it to us. No, guys, I'm just a neighbor. Who fixed the television? I did. Hey, man. I think you're not getting this. We... We work in this area, and we don't like people like you stealing from us. Isn't that right, Basil? Hey, that's enough. Stop arguing with him. It's better to sue him for... his illegal repair business. Hey, get out of here. We don't need you anymore. Look at yourselves. We were waiting all day for you, and who knows where you were. I couldn't watch TV because of you guys. Do you think the uniform entitles you to do anything you want? Well, not here. <coughs> Tell yes, them. guys, please, you have to leave right now. Let's figure things out. We'll just pay for the call. I won't pay a dime. Dear, kick him out right now. Yes, guys, hey, get Pops, out of here. Hey, don't shout. Okay. Hey, you. Come with us. I don't want. Yes, you do. I don't want to. Come on. Let's go. And don't come back. Hurry come up, come on. Why? Let's go. Where are you taking him? What's to going our office. on? He should learn how to respect Is other people's work. A couple of, of minutes walking. Honey, your TV show is about to start now. Let's go. I will take care of those guys. Uh, just forget about it. You're making a big deal out of this. Listen, Mila, no, please call, no, 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 call, call the police. Call the police. Yes, call he him. just wanted to help. Oh, we want to talk to the boss this or anyone in charge of this business. I want to talk to him now. Now. Uh, good afternoon. What's going on? We have a complaint to make about your employees. Where is the boss? I'm the boss. How can I help you? Uh, it's just, uh, we call them to fix our TV set because we couldn't watch our favorite TV show, but they never showed up. So our That's neighbor Fedder went and fixed it for us. He's our friend. But they wanted to beat him and call uh, the police. I do apologize, and I hope we can have the chance to make it up to you. When you ask for our services again, we won't disappoint you. We'd be pleased to help you. You two, go to work right now. Oh, look. Here's a discount coupon for your next service. Uh, our washing machine is broken, too. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Come on, honey, let's go. Bye. Bye. Come on, honey, let's okay, go. Okay, let's go. Come on, let's go. go. Hey, you, wait. Uh, Come uh, here. What? What? Karina, listen. What about this one? He's stealing from us. What do we do? He has no license. Mila, do we have any more services for today? Yeah, sure. Look. A broken closet. Don't you have anything to do? Uh, okay, yeah, I'm just gonna get my tools, okay? Uh, are you Fedor? I am. I am Karina. Nice to meet you. Did you fix the TV set? Yes. If everything is okay, now can I go? Don't you have some work to do? <sighs> Could you come into my office for a minute? That is, if you're not in a hurry, of course. Your office? Yes. Mm, okay. Please don't be offended by Paul and Basil. They're good guys. I understand, but they're really upsetting guys. You only do electrical repairs? Well, I can fix electronics too. Where did you learn? I, I'm an engineer, Miss Karina. Oh, I see. So is this your regular job? Sometimes. People ask for my help. It's just a hobby. Okay, but where do you work? It's just, uh, I just quit. I need a coffee for Fedder, please. The coffee machine is broken. <sighs> Are you serious? 
We are a repair company. Just ask someone to fix it right away. I did. They're gonna book it as a first time service, so we have to wait. This is unbelievable. <sighs> Could you check it out? What? The coffee machine? Yes. Yes, I'll do it. Thank you. I see the filter is clogged up, that's why. And if you add milk here, there'll be foam. This is just great, and I didn't even know it. <laughs> it's you again. What are you doing here? Yo, tell us. Karina, can you see what's going on? It's impossible to work like this. It's not impossible. Go to work. What about him? What are you gonna do? I told you I would talk to him, so leave now. As you wish, boss. <sighs> this is perfect, Better. Thank you. Would you like to work for me? Uh, just like that? Out of the blue? Well, yeah, I usually take more time to interview and hire my staff, but this time I... Of course, I need a job. But I was applying to the Research Institute. Hey, Paul, where's the list for today's services? You had it. Mila gave it to you. Where is it? I will look for it. Hey, guys, I want to apologize. I didn't mean to upset you, really. You like to help people, so do it the right way. We also like to help people. What just fun for you is work for us, got it? We get very good money out of here, no complaints at all, but people like you means losses for us. Oh, here it is. Let's go, Basil. I got the list. Hey. Are you going in? I don't think so. Party was good, huh? Um. Eat that sandwich. <sighs> Why are you up so early? You forgot you're unemployed now. By the way, I was offered a job. A husband for an hour. <laughs> like a male escort or what? You're a married man, Dad. Nikki, it's just a repair company, handyman. Mm-hmm. So you're a downshifter now. What? An easier kind of work. We have one at the university. A person that is not studying anymore, work for a few hours and just want to go out and have fun. It's easy, don't you think? Yeah, you're probably right. I'll look for something better, huh? It sounds interesting. Well, gotta go to school now. Goodbye. Bye. How are you, Greg? Uh, you're covered in leaves today. Don't fail in me, pal. Greg? Start up. Greg. Don't do this to me. Not right now. <sighs> it's a spark plug. I'll fix it. Oh, no. I forgot it. When I fix the coffee machine... Don't worry, Greg. Calm down. I'll be back soon.
Hello. It's me. We were waiting for you. How are you today? I'm good. Do you have my screwdriver? A screwdriver? Uh-huh. Karina didn't say anything about it. Your screwdriver is here. Good morning. Oh, here you go. Thanks. Oh, you're welcome. Mila, give Feder a phone, a uniform, and tools. And what size are uh -huh. you? Extra large. Uh, mm -hmm. did you bring any ID? Hey, no, I just came for my screwdriver. <sighs> Great, now you're one of our staff. It's just... Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna introduce you to your partner. Mila, you know what to do. He's arriving right now. Jean, you're late once again. Don't forget to arrive on time. You have a new partner, Feder. You will work together, put him up to date, please, and be nice to him. Hmm? <laughs> My name is Jean Aby. Pero. But you can call me Jean. Now, it's time to work. I'll tell you everything along the way. Mila, darling! Mm -hmm. Do you have my dream call today? That would be... Little to do... Lots of money... Wouldn't it be the perfect call? Gene has a big mouth and he's lazy. You should be firm with him. Everything is very simple here. Karina's the boss. She's not a bad woman. Well, like everyone else, she can get upset, but she's not mean. She can even... Apologize later. I think she's nice. Her work is difficult. She has to know and control everything. The taxes, the firefighters. It's not a woman's kind of job. And she doesn't seem to have a man. Well, I saw her with a man once. A businessman with a nice car, but she doesn't really like him. Tell me the address. What? The address where we are oh. going. Well, the job is not bad. I'm happy, but as a child, I also dreamt of something different. You know what I wanted to be? An mm -hmm. actor. Can you believe it? <laughs> but my dad told me, kid, you have two little brains and a lot of ambition. Go to the technical school, get a profession, and you'll never lose. He said, don't be an actor. You have to learn something useful. He was right. When a person goes to the theater, sometimes they have to go, and when they do, you know what? The bathrooms are always clogged. It never fails. We're doing the right thing, the things that matters. Do you get it, Fitter? And yes. There are big bonuses. And, well... Do you have a wife? Yeah? Or a husband? A wife. Ah, I don't have one yet. I'm still looking for one. In this business, there's plenty of women. Our clients are usually single women. After all, if they had a husband, they would fix everything, right? And we would be out of a job. And those women are... waiting for us so gorgeous, beautiful... so lonely. They seem like a knight on a white horse, a fairy tale. <laughs> I am such a hot looking guy. By the way, Fetter, about your white horse. I see it's in bad shape. Your car should have been in the junkyard a year ago. But don't worry, you will get a new one soon. Gee, I like my car. And those who don't like it, they can go on foot. Fetter, come down. I like it. Well, not really. Get out. Hey, listen. I'm sorry. Don't be a gangster. I mean, we arrived. Ah, uh, I thought I hurt your feelings. I'm glad it's not like that. Your car is cool. <laughs> Let's go. Good afternoon, distinguished gentlemen. The task you're about to do is not difficult. Nevertheless, it's quite delicate, very delicate. You have to take this sofa to the junkyard. And I want, I beg you, to be very careful. Everything in here is very valuable and fragile. They're antiques. They represent history and culture going back for centuries. Be careful. I hire you. Because the company you work for is very professional. Yes? Well then, take out the sofa and don't break anything. Follow me.
Just look at this place. You'll love okay. it. I have the ticket. See? It's gonna be great. Look, look, look. Look at the next page. <sighs> Glenn, do we have to discuss everything? I can't leave now. <sighs> Just tell me when was your last vacation. Like never. Because you never have time. Just close the office for a week and we can go enjoy ourselves in a beautiful place. <sighs> Please, say you'll go, baby. Come on, we deserve Glenn, a nice stop vacation. Stop it, not now. Come I'm on, working. Stop <laughs> bugging me. <sighs> come in, Paul. Oh. Um, what happened? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, well, I wanted to talk about this guy, Feather. Why? Because I don't get it. Is he in charge now or what? He did our job. It's his first day of work and he's already doing this. Paul, don't be childish. Take the next one with Basil. I will. But it's a matter of principle. What if he screws everything up? Yes, Mila? A client is calling and he's really mad. What client? The Jane and Feather service. Uh, okay, I'll take the call. Hello, handyman. What can I do for you? What's the situation? Uh, sure, they didn't break it on purpose. But it's okay, we'll compensate for you for the damage. You don't have to be worried. Oh, yes. How much does your vase cost? What? Uh, I can't hear you. How much? I can't believe it. What did you do? It, 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 it's a Ming Dynasty porcelain vase. This is world heritage for humanity. It's broken. Destroyers. Barbarians! You're bad people! This is not possible! So, how much is that thing? That thing is Chinese porcelain from the Ming Dynasty! It is 500 years old! There's no other like this one! <clears throat> we could glue it back together, it'll be just like new. It, is it original? It is an authentic Imperial brand! This is not original. It's fake. Uh, what? How dare you? What do you know about it? You know nothing about it. You're an ignorant. Do you know how much I paid for this? <sighs> this is real China, yeah. But it has nothing to do with the Ming Dynasty. Look here, at the bottom. It's not original. For 500 years, the clay had to absorb dust and dirt. Do you see the mark? It's covered with cobalt. It's called a glaze patch. It's just a vase. Maybe it's worth, I don't know, ten dollars? I think you're right, Mr. Handyman. Mm, pay for the job plus ten dollars. Less. Less. What? I just saw my life flash in front of me. <laughs> You're my hero. Come on. Don't worry. We're going to send someone to help you with the problem. Yes, goodbye. Better. You saved us all from bankruptcy. Thank you. You're welcome. It's nothing. It's my work. I just do my work. Oh, come on. One time, <laughs> Nina took me to the museum. Nina? My wife. She's uh. a translator and an art critic, too. I just wanted to know a little more. Uh. I was curious, so she told me all about it. Oh, it's great. I can see you love your wife very much. <sighs> Handyman office, what can I do for you? Yes, Miss Sylvia. Could you give me your address, please? Hmm. Oh, look, it's already lunchtime. <gasps> they're here, they're here. Misha, let's open the door. Let's see who is it. You're the guys from Handyman. Please come in. Uh, Misha and I were waiting for you, right, Misha? Say hi, baby. Say hi. How could you live like that? Sorry, what did you say? I asked, what's the oh, problem? The repairs were finished two weeks ago, and this morning the lamp fell off. Misha and I were in the kitchen, and it just happened. So are they doing repairs? Yes, they're fixing everything everywhere. The place is new. Mm, the screw didn't go in. It's wrong. So let's put it in its place and let's get out of here. No, it has to be done properly or it'll fall again. If we do it properly, how long will it take? Mm, it doesn't matter. Okay, you start. I'll make a phone call.
Hey, baby. Yeah, it's Jean. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm on my way. See you. Goodbye. <clears throat> Bro, it's just, uh, I have to take care of my private life and I have to go out just for mm -hmm. a few hours. Now what? You're married. You wouldn't understand. Uh, it's a girl. I have to see her urgently. And who will hold the lamp? Please, just put yourself in my place, single and ready to mingle. It's okay. I'll handle it. Just go. Mm, you are my best friend. I will never forget it. We're partners. We will work as a team. Get partner. out of here, partner. Oh, honey, close your eyes. Shh, just sleep, my love. You have to sleep. Shh. I know it's noisy. Sleep, please. How do you expect him to sleep with such noise? We're used to it, but today he's got temperature. Shh. I had the worst day today. I almost hit my head earlier, and then Misha got sick. I can't even go to the drugstore to get his medicine. There's no one to stay with him. We're from another city where my parents live. What about live. your husband? Uh, he's on a flight. He's a pilot. Huh? A pilot? That's great. Yeah. Good profession. I'm an engineer. I used to work with aircraft That's engines. good. Uh, do you want me to go to the drugstore? Are you sure? Just tell me what to buy. I appreciate it so much. The closest drugstore is closed. I'll write down the name of the medicine, and also I'll give you the money. That would be so much help, and I will be relieved. Thank you so much, really. Uh, what a day. I gave the movers all my cash when they brought the sofa. I have my credit card and I have to pay you as well. You don't, well, you don't accept credit cards, do you? I'm sorry, but no. <laughs> of course you don't. I can't pay you with a card. Well, you know what? I'll go. There's an ATM at the drugstore. Could you look after Misha for five minutes, please? That's all it takes. Uh, what could happen? Of course. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'll be back in five minutes. I'll run. Hey, it's been over half an hour and I haven't been able to go through. What Don't is going on out please. there? The boss hey! The minute I told you. I can't wait for your boss, so take the bags and let me open the door. There's a container over there. Do it. Okay. Please, I'm in a hurry. It's Don't just a pile of garbage. Don't push the door, easy. <laughs> Where's your mom? She said just five minutes. You see? It wasn't that hard. It's already done. Hey, man, the cops are here. Let's... Hey, wait, what's going on? Hey, are you throwing away construction waste in there? Yes, uh, why not? That's forbidden. You need a special container. Your ID, please. I don't have any. You have to talk to my boss, but he's not here right now. Mm, I see. Get in the car. Uh, this is yours. What are you doing? Show me your ID. Why me? I'm going to the drugstore. My baby is at home alone. Should I take my ID everywhere I go? Yeah, you should. She's an accomplice. Where is your ID? What's wrong? I live upstairs. I'm going to the drugstore. My child is alone. Did you really leave your child alone? 
Why are you talking to her? Give me your ID. Money. Give them some money. Come on. I have no money. Look, I'm going to the drugstore to buy medicine. To buy medicine? Without money? Okay. Get in the car. We're Hurry going to up. the station. Take her. Come on. I'm not going anywhere. Let me go. Do as I say. Don't you Come listen? On. Get in and sit down. Your mom is getting late. Misha, Misha. She didn't take her phone. And it's off. Can get in. Hello. They threw waste in the wrong place. That's not allowed. Very well. Hey, you, sweetheart. Can you fix me up with a cigarette, darling? You shut up. I had enough of you. The supervisor went out and he will be back in the morning. What am I gonna do with them? I can't wait till tomorrow. I have a child at home alone. He is sick. Believe me. What a sad story. You will be okay in there. She was throwing waste along with them. But she said something about a child or something. She's not with us. Our boss doesn't like women like her to do our job. The captain will come in the morning and check that out. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Where's your mom? Uh, hi. Are you okay, Misha? Oh, you have a fever. Right. Five minutes. Right. Oh, hello, excuse me. I need your help. The child has a fever? I don't know, he's not mine. A little boy. He's about 25 pounds, two feet tall, about one or two years old. Address? Hold on. Please hold on. Here's the address, Cosmo Street, 1721. Thank you very much. Hmm, so they are coming soon. Hmm. Karina, I've been waiting for you for 40 minutes. What's wrong? Why are you waiting for me? You ask me why? Because we have a date today. Did you even write it down? Did you forget about it? Make your secretary write it down for you. Uh, yes, sure. Listen, maybe some other time. I have to work. You're always working. You, you always, you work too much, you know? It couldn't be different. Do you know what I have to do in order to make some money? I know. I already mm -hmm. have enough so that a beautiful <sighs> no, woman stop. like you can stop relax it. and enjoy life. Stop but it. Come you always on. make me beg hey, you. Stop. I need that paper. Come Look at on. this. He's flying. Give it to me. Get out of here. <sighs> Mila, is Fedor back? No, he's not. Uh, what's going on? Karina, please, let's go. Stop it. Come he's on. been out all day. This is important. He's stiffing. That's why there is a temperature. Is he allergic to something? Mm, I don't know. Some illness you know of? Uh, no, well, I don't know. Hey, aren't you ashamed? Are you not interested in your son at all? Where's your wife? Where's the mother? Wife? Yes, where is she? Huh, I wish I knew. <sighs> okay, so I gave him some medicine. Mm -hmm. The temperature should go down mm -hmm. very soon. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. 
Don't worry. There was this time that we mixed up our kids by accident. She left with my kid, remember? <laughs> we figured out until the next morning. <laughs> and we exchanged them, of course. <laughs> Do you have children too? I'm telling you so. Quiero She's got a girl and I have a son. Uh, He's so beautiful. <sighs> He's with my mother. I'm sure she's taking good care of him. Hey, mister. What's up? Well, that woman really has a child. She doesn't work with us. I'm telling you, let her make a phone call, please. Mm. She really is innocent. Let please. her make that call. My son is one year old and he's sick. I already told you, he's home alone. Okay, I'll think about it. What's going on? Give her the phone now. You moron! You're making us crazy! We have the right to a lawyer and a phone call! I saw it in a movie, you know? Now everyone is talking about their rights. So stop it! All of you, shut up! <sighs> Mila... Mm. I have an overwhelming urge to assist some lonely women. Without children, animals, husbands, or other bad habits. Preferably rich. Me and Sophia called. She's got a broken boiler again. <sighs> Mila, you're breaking my heart. Sophia has got a cat, three grandchildren, and by the way, a husband. A husband? Mm -hmm. She told me on the phone that she doesn't have a husband, and she's really afraid to touch the boiler. I swear she's got one. Last time she even introduced me to him, the urn with the ashes on a special shelf. Mila, she's not suitable for me. Look for someone else. I feel this is my destiny. I'm gonna say it again. The sewer just broke in a high-rise building. The switchboard is flooded, so the power goes off. Meanwhile, a plumber, an electrician, and the operator are stuck inside the elevator. Got it? So... What's the point? Are you stupid or what? The point is all the technicians are stuck in there, all of them. Oh. Oh. Let me see that. Uh, country house? This is good. A lot of famous people live there. I've seen them. Well, that's mine. Don't touch me, okay? Shut your mouth. Don't touch him. Tell me the joke again. Mila, we are leaving. I have a contract with you. Fixed rent for five years, okay? Five years. Yes, give me the contract, please. Hurry. So, why don't you bother me five years from now, huh? Uh-huh. Why isn't anyone working today? We were just living. Answer me, Gene. Where's Feather? Uh, he stayed to finish the repairs and, uh... I'm warning you for the last time. You always do that! Oh, no. <sighs> Hello? Good afternoon. Glad to hear from you. About the taxes? Everything is fine. No, it's not. Mm-hmm. Let me know when Feather is back. Well, I'm sure it's a misunderstanding. <laughs> I finally got it! An elevator, a plumber, an electrician, and a... Operator. Yes, that! And there is no one who can fix anything. <laughs> because they're stuck in there, right? Well done, Basil. Hurry up. Yes! Got it! <laughs> Here, take this. How are you? Better? You're feeling better? <sighs> Hello? Karina? No, it's not Mom. Where am I? I don't even know how to explain. I know you haven't heard from me. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, 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 yes. It's okay. <sighs> if you break it, I'll fix it. Yes, you broke it. But it's fixed now. It's okay now. It's ready. Uh, it's a nice car. 
Excellent. Oh, ah, she's here. <sighs> I didn't understand what you told me over the phone, but if you fool me like Jean, then honestly, I will fire you and I will be happy with that, understand? <sighs> hey, Misha, she's not your mom. So it's true. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Here is the lamp I fixed, but I don't know what to do. I couldn't leave Misha here. Mm -mm, of course not, but we must find the Sylvia or any relatives. Do you see the phone book around here? I tried to find it and there isn't. She didn't even take the phone. I couldn't call the police because I don't even know her last name, you know? What could have happened to her? How long has she been gone? Hmm, about three hours or so. It's a lot. Did you feed him? No. He didn't say anything. Fedor. What's his name, Misha? Misha, are you hungry? Do you want porridge? Maybe a fruit or a cookie? Hmm? No. <sighs> I need a pot. Uh-huh. This one? Uh, it's too big for Misha. Ah. Uh. I hate oat porridge. I would never feed my child with that. Thanks. Mm. Do you have children? Mm. What? Mm, no, I have a cactus. My ex-husband could not stand children. At some point, I thought that this was his only drawback. Turned out it wasn't. Ah, I didn't think women like cactus. Well, actually, I like daisies. It's just easier to look after a cactus. But I could have a son or a daughter by now. Yeah, that's right. A daughter is better. Hmm. Nikki is already in college and he's all right. But I always dreamed of a daughter. So? My wife didn't want to. She said that she needed to have a career, go to museums, conferences. She even wanted to write a book on Renaissance painting. Did she? No. Oh. Oh, he's, he's sleeping. So now we are not going to feed him? <laughs> Did you have dinner? Is she sleeping? How is she? Not sleeping? <laughs> With that only? Give her the phone. Mishu, why don't you listen to your mama? <laughs> Dad is working. <laughs> you close your eyes, and when you wake up, Daddy will be there with you. Very good. Okay, bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Hey, you. Give me the number. Finally. He's sleeping. At last. He finished his milk. Mm -hmm. She wouldn't just leave her child like that. Something very bad must have happened to her. Do you think she got hit by a car? I hope not. Hello? Sorry for the late call. I'm Sergeant Timoshenko from the police department. Sorry for calling this late. Does Miss Solova live there? I don't know. Let me... Huh, you don't know. Hello? Who was it? The police. They were looking for Mrs. Solova. Huh, why are you messing with me? The child is not home alone. The husband is not on a business trip. Uh, who answered? A guy who doesn't know you at all. Uh, listen, it's Fetter, the handyman. Thank God he's still there. Please call again and tell him I... I wouldn't do it. I'm not calling again. With the handyman? Really? Aren't you ashamed? But I... Deal with your personal life first, and then have children. But listen... Shut up. Oh, God. 
It's her. They asked about her. Something happened. She must be at the police station. Yes, call them. I don't know the number. I'll go to the station. Are you staying? Of course. Fetter. Uh-huh. Don't forget the milk. Uh, sure. Uh. Hi, Greg. Don't fail on me now. I don't even believe you. But still, I will let her go only if you have her ID. I didn't find any ID. I took it to the registry office last week to get my new address updated. You have to believe me. My boss will come in the morning. He is the only one who can let her go. <sighs> don't worry. Everything is fine with Misha. No temperature, and he's sleeping. <sighs> is he alone? Of course not. My boss Karina is staying with him. Hmm? Thank you very much. I'll come in the morning. My husband should be back by then. I'm really sorry for the inconvenience, Fetter. It's okay. These things happen. Hey, Paul. Listen. Tell our boss to come here. We need him. Documents are needed. He has to bail us out. He lives next door to her. His name is Ahmad. I'll tell him. Okay, thanks. <sighs> hey, you! Uh. My goodness, I don't even know what I do anymore. Wait, I'll give you a hand. It's very simple. Don't worry, I'll fix it. Take this, I'll do it for you. <gasps> Thank you so much. Tell me, young man, do you have a son or a daughter? A boy. Oh, a boy, so sweet. Thank you. It's fixed you. now. Oh, you're Thanks. so nice. Wait, please, for the boy. Take it, please. Done. Please. Thanks. It's my pleasure. Have a great Good night. night. Wait, please wait. What floor? Fifteenth. Hey, are you going to... Apartment 21? Uh, yes. So... It means... When I was on a flight... You were here... With my wife, right? Yeah. <gasps> How dare you mess around with my wife! Shame on you! I can see that! It's good you're here already! Shh. It's enough! You're gonna wake up the baby! What the hell are you doing here? I'm his boss. He's my new employee, and... Yes. Who are you? I'm Sylvia's husband! Oh, thank God. We are so happy you're here. I don't get it. Where is my wife? Give me a minute. I'll explain. <sighs> what a mess. I'm happy everything is okay now. Are you serious? He beat you up. I'll take you to the doctor now. Here. Huh. Hmm. My first paycheck. <laughs> For such a challenge, you deserve a bonus. Oh, thank you so much. For what? What? You saved me tonight. It's okay. I wouldn't have made it without you. <laughs> I even enjoyed it. Can I take you home? I have my car, and you... Uh, me too. I see. Uh, well... Well... <laughs> hey, Nikki. What time did you get home last night? I didn't hear you. Late as usual. Hmm. What happened to you? Why? You haven't seen your face? What do you mean? Look in the mirror. 
Good God. <laughs> Who did this? A dissatisfied customer or a jealous husband? A husband. Dinner time. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Mom called, uh, by the way. How is she? She's okay. Did you tell her we're fine? I said that you didn't sleep at home, but everything's okay. Nikki, don't do that. You don't have to tell her everything we do. She doesn't care. She doesn't care about me either. She says she was doing very well. And she won't be home soon. Bye. Gotta go. Mm. Time to go. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Oh, look at you. You got a black eye, Feather. You should have <laughs> used your hands. You're so big and so clumsy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, bro. I'm so sorry I mm. left you alone yesterday. Mm. It's not that bad. No, huh? not really. Hey, Karina says she went to see you there. Is it true? It's true. You're such a cool guy. Man, she's beautiful, of course, but she's the boss. So what? So what? What did you do by yourselves? Well, we cooked. You cooked? Are you kidding me? No, he's not, you nosy. Hello? Do you have a husband for an hour? Yes, of course. Well, hello, here I am. What's broken? Nothing is broken. I just need a, a husband for one hour. Mm, you came to the right place. Jean, stop it. We're a home improvement company. We fix TV sets, hang shelves, fix the plumbing. I know, but my husband is getting out of prison today. Okay, and... Um, he was in prison for eight years, so the husband is ex now. But he doesn't know about it yet. And I need to explain it all to him somehow. You understand? But why are you here? I just want one of your employees to be in my house by the time he gets there. <laughs> so he sees that I'm not alone anymore, you know? And here you have a nice-looking man. <laughs> Yes, you, the tall one. Uh, um, excuse me, what's your name? <clears throat> Natalie. Uh, I'm sorry, Natalie, but we do not provide such services. You should call an escort for that. Okay, thank you. Then I will go somewhere else where they can satisfy my desires. Natalie, wait, I was just thinking, I can help you, let's say in private, between me and you. Oh, really? Yes, really, it'll be our secret. Mm, thank you very much. I'm afraid to be alone when uh -huh. he gets there, I need- Don't worry, everything will be just fine, just wait. Hey man, you gotta help me. Where is she going to find a man now? Not a good one, for sure. As for me, it's not difficult at all. I'm going, huh? Please understand, okay, would you help me? Just be careful. Mm. Thanks, man. Natalie, it's okay, we can go. Uh, great car. Vodka is a bad thing. No one should drink it. <laughs> Your water seal is broken. Uh, what did you say? I said it works now. Uh, I got it from my grandfather. He went through the war with it. Oh, uh, he was a really good mess with it. You know, the whole thing. And alcohol is a stable thing. The entire economic model was built on it. Uh, how much do I owe you? 
Listen, son. Maybe you can accept a natural product. What do you say? My dad always said, even generals liked it. I will get my pension in three days. I don't need anything. <laughs> Thank you. And now some local uh. Today, the Raven has gone free. Oh, he's out now. Oh, so he starts all over again. During his trial, he said to the judge that he was sorry for his behavior and that he will be doing some community service as he is going to be released ahead of time. And that's the news for today. My husband is out of prison today. They will never leave him alone. His mafia partners will kill him. Do you know him? Whom? The Raven? Everybody knows him. Where does he live? In the South area. Uh -huh. Why? Come on, come on, come on, Greg, be a good boy. From Handyman? Yes. Come here. Handyman! <sighs> Look! Another husband for an hour. Natalie, confess right now. How many men do you have? Oh, my love, forgive me. I don't know him. I Stop swear. lying I to me, Natalie! Him. What shall I do now? I can't kill your boyfriends. Uh-uh. But I cannot let you cheat on me again. And I wanted to start a new life with you again. Oh, uh, by the way, I know what I'm gonna do to you. Greatest from the boss. <laughs> uh, tell him it's me who sends greetings. Mila, have Feder and Jean come back yet? No. Do you need anything? Yes, I have to talk to Feder now. Call them, okay? Well? Mm, no, nothing. Where is he? Is he dead? Mm? Feder. Bro! Is he really alive? He took a bullet for me. He shot him right in the heart. <sighs> now Nina will kill me for sure. He shot you point blank. What kind of powder box is that? I designed it. It was done in our research institute. It has three millimeters of titanium in it. Mass production never took off. We gave them away as Christmas gifts to employees. <laughs> I want one. They're lifesavers. Now what? What should I do? You just saved my life. What is your name? Feather, right? I owe you now. Ask whatever you want. Just let me go. That's all? Gene, too. Me, too. Huh. Huh. Listen, <sighs> you guys. Huh. <laughs> if you ever need... Anything, just call me. Are you really from the maintenance company that rents a husband for an hour? Handyman? Uh -huh. <laughs> Natalie, I need their phone number. The house needs to be uh -huh. repaired. Let's go. <laughs> Natalie, why didn't you tell me they were handyman? I did tell you, but you didn't listen. You never listen. It's always the same. You don't listen to me. You should have said it in a proper way. If you would have told Are me, I would have failed the situation, Natalie. I was there with Natalie, and Raven saw us. I didn't have time to blink. 
He beat me and tied me up with tape, just like that. Like nothing happened. It was so easy for him. He's such a pro. Man, listen, I'll do everything for you. I will do whatever you want. I will even work for both of us. What do you say, huh? It's okay. Does it hurt? We have to go to the hospital. It doesn't hurt. Poor Patterbox. Well, let's go to the office. You're going to work after this? Man, you cheated death today. We have to celebrate. You just said you'll just work for both of us. Okay, I did. To the office we go. Everyone will know we're heroes. <sighs> I didn't know. I was sure he was going to propose in a couple of years. This is just a madhouse. First the owner increased the rent, then some idiots, they want to buy this place, and now you're getting married, Mila? Please don't do this to me. Oh, come on, this is my chance. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Where will I find a secretary now? Hey, Karina. <sighs> I can work instead of Mila for now. Do you mean it? I'm retired. There is nothing to do at home, and the extra money would be good. Thank you, Margaret. You just saved me. Mwah. Thank you. Okay, Mill, give me your application. I'll sign it. I hope the man is good. He's the best. Are Fetter and Jean still working? They're on their way. As soon as they are here, tell Fetter to come to my office. Yeah, sure. <laughs> hmm. Should we go? Where? To work. Wait. We still have time. Let's see how she... Start jailing at those two. Yes, this is very important. You have to tell Karina about it. You have to. Karina, guess what happened? Feather was almost killed. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh my, it is very interesting. By the way, I want to know who repaired this thing. Antique multi-stage distillation device. What is that, by the way? It's an alcohol machine. You don't have to worry. It's not a house and he's not our client. Gene, whatever you do in your free time, I don't care. That's it. Go now. If I need you, I'll call you. And Feather? I have to talk to him. If you need me, mm -hmm. I'm here. <laughs> Feather, tell me. How much did you charge to repair this alcohol machine? He lives alone. He's retired. I thought uh, that... Oh, it's good you thought about him. Well done. Do you think we're a charitable organization? How do you think I pay for rent, salaries, and other things, huh? Tell me. <sighs> As for the spare parts, if something doesn't work, you should immediately offer to change it. Do you understand? Got it? <sighs> but if I can fix the old one, it's better. <sighs> you really don't understand. I'll explain it now. We buy spare parts in bulk, and you sell them in retail. It's called business. And if you spend half a day repairing old things, it won't work at all. You have to push the clientele to buy our parts. Do you get it? That's how it works. <sighs> I'm sorry, really. Have a seat. The door should always be closed by... Don't worry, I understand everything. I feel sorry for them too, okay? But we can barely manage our operation as it is. I have no money to pay rent. I've been working without vacation for three years now, but it still doesn't work, you know? I understand. I'll try. Man. What happened? Hmm, nothing. Let's go to work. Hmm? What did she say? Is she upset? Huh? Business. She talked about that. Well, do we have a new sure car? Sure we do. Where is it? Um, let me see. Um, um, there's a dog that needs to be walked and... It seems like she didn't fire him. I guess he'll be staying for a long time.
Let me remind you that I know people just like you. Repairs are worth a penny, and then you will ask for lots of money. <sighs> the pipe needs to be replaced. That's what I'm talking about. You don't need to replace anything. Just cover it up with something and it'll be fixed. That's it. It's not enough. The pipe is plastic. Dear, let them do what they have to do. You've already tried to fix it, but the water is still leaking. Honey, stop it. Will you stand up for these people over me? Are you gonna do what they say? Don't you understand that I don't okay, have any of the money okay. for the repairs? Shh. Don't listen to them. Can you believe this? They live in a huge apartment in this city, but they don't have any money to fix the pipe. If we do something, we do it right. If I leave it like this, there will be a flood and we'll be responsible. You will see. He won't pay us for anything and then he will complain to Karina. And she will kill us later for this. You will see. Trust me, I know. We replace it or we leave. <sighs> What's that? Money. Really? Mm-hmm. Let's keep some for us. Let's call it our fee. Wait, what? Shh, You're not. Shh, it's not yours. It's our fee. Don't There's do it. a lot of Leave money it. here. They We're won't not even thieves. notice. Don't Give it do to it. me. Don't, 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 Shut up. Don't Let it, it go. Give it to me. Get your hands mm. off it. Yes? Uh, I found this. It's yours. Where? It was there. Underneath. Uh, sweetie. Yes, dear? What is this? Is this yours? It's mine. Where did you get it? The handyman found it. You told me we were broke. That you had money problems. That you got a pay cut. What were you saving up for? Mm. Mm, you're saving up for a mistress? Uh, Come on, mm. tell me. And please try not to lie this time, you no, dumb liar! No, no, no. Replace the whole pipe. All that is needed. And put in the most expensive uh, pipe. Uh, and check in the bathroom as well. And every room in the house. Okay, and you will pay for this. And I will pay you double! Baby, sweetie, wait, wait, it's a surprise! Well done. I wish everyone were like you. We tried our best. Um, I guess you worked a lot. Margaret, I signed everything. Check it out, please. Feder, I'm... I'm sorry I yelled at you today. So many things have happened. It's okay, I get it. You silly. We got a new order. Go, go, go now. Feder, let's go. They left. All is going according to plan. <sighs> this is useless. It's really useless. Enough gas, new oil. <sighs> Why are you doing this, Greg? Why this tantrum? I need to pump the clutch <sighs> so we can start. You need to push harder. We've lost time because of this rust bucket of yours. Jean, are you in a hurry? It's because I have a date in an hour. I thought we would finish this quickly and I would go with this girl who's dying to see me. You had a date yesterday. Yes, I was such a Casanova. Uh, Casanova, just go. Go to your date. Uh, really? Really. Thanks, man. That's why you are my favorite friend. Yes. Uh. Greg. Okay, what should I do? What should I do? Are you upset? You stay here.
Hello? Anyone here? What's going on? What, what, what are you doing? Dad, have you seen my jeans? Dad! What day is today? Uh, by the way, your case will not be on court until the end of the month. So we can get our bonus. I have time. Don't think uh, um, about the bonus. Um, think about the criminal. You shouldn't have this negative attitude. You only have to plead guilty, and the court will keep it in mind. But if not, it'll go bad, Fetter. Really bad. I didn't do it. I didn't do those robberies. Huh. Then which ones did you do? We know all about your gang. Been after you for a long, long time. Who else works with you? Tell me! Speak now! Your partner! Your boss! Answer me! It's about a regular, honest guy that really loves kids. But at nights, he's a maniac that kills criminals and gets arrested. But there's no evidence, and you know what happens? That's enough, <laughs> Dean. I don't like that story, and you know it. It's a great movie, Margaret. Just like real life. The police <sighs> called me. Federer was arrested. What do you mean he got arrested? For trespassing. That's bull. Feather is not capable of doing such thing. He's as honest as like a... Like that maniac in the movie? Mm. Margaret, stop saying that. You said it, just like real life. A week before the robbery occurred, you used the handyman company services? Yes, why? My wife wanted to repair the closet, so she called them. Huh. Which company did she call? Mm, I forgot. I found the number on the newspaper and I called. Do you know this man? Did he come? Don't be afraid. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> I didn't fix your closet. I already told you that. Okay, we'll see. You can leave now. Next. Right here. Take a seat. Please. Hello, Feather. I think I didn't thank you for all that you've done for me. It's okay. How's Misha? He's okay. My husband gave him tools, one hammer, a screwdriver. <laughs> Those are his favorite toys. <laughs> Listen, Miss Sylvia. You don't have the right to talk with the suspect. What is he being accused for? Feather is a marvelous person. He helped me a lot. And the lamp he repaired is working just fine. Tell me one thing. Did something go missing in your apartment after his visit? Of course not. It's okay. You can go. Let's go now. <laughs> Next. Take a seat.
Excuse me, do you know this man? Uh, it's him. He stole my money. I just went to the other room and he stole it. Perfect. Go on. Oh, what else you want to know? They went to repair the pipeline. There wasn't much to do, just one crack. But of course, he said that he had to repair everything. He stole my money. When we found it, we gave it to his wife in our hand. And why? The money was mine, was mine. You and my wife are in on it. And how much money got stolen? Uh, 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 a lot. Hmm. This is your workspace, right? Is there something missing from the office? Have you checked? No, no, nothing. I can find my screwdriver anywhere. I'm sure Fedor stole it from me. And three nails. I don't get why you hire these kinds of people. We have to keep on checking. I Come want on. out. Buddy, what do you need? How can I help you? Call Nina and tell her it'll all be fine. <clears throat> Nothing? Mm -mm. Hello, Nina. Uh, good afternoon. Your husband, Fetter, works for me. C calm down. Your... Your husband was arrested and is at the police station right now. Uh, they are accusing him of trespassing. Well, of course he didn't do it, but... You have to come right now. He needs your help. When can you come? Uh, what? Uh, I get it. Uh-huh, I get it. Okay. I'll see you. What is it? <gasps> She's in Italy. She's really busy, and she can't come. Andiamo, per favore. I'm shocked. Didn't think I could find you here in Italy. What's the name of this painting? Le piace. Oh. <laughs> so then? <laughs> I have to tell you that you're as beautiful as a painting. Oh. <laughs> the similarity is amazing. Le piace anche. Yeah. Definitely, I want to buy the painting. It will go in my office, or in my bedroom. But that, we will discuss it over dinner. I am asking you on a date. Mm. I will tell you where. Mm. Boris vuole invitare voi a cena. E tua moglie non mente? If I, your wife, doesn't bother. What, Nina? She's not my wife, and she doesn't care. She's my employee. It's not suitable for me to say that. <laughs> Tell her. I said that I'm not translating that. <laughs> Scuse me a little. Uh, Excuse un momento. What's going on? <clears throat> it's your job. You just have to translate what I say. What? You invited me to Italy and now you come up with this? Nina, it's business. If she <laughs> likes me, <laughs> she'll give us a discount. Do you get ah, it? You'll do whatever for a discount. Yes, I would. And if it's good... Oh. Bite me. Arrivederci. <laughs> Todo bene. She's going to the bathroom. Karina! Do you think it was me? Do you think that I would send my friend there? Well, it wasn't me. I know it wasn't you. Then who could it be? I'm sorry, but he is one of us. The investigation got to a point of no return. I don't get it. I know very well who I must see.
Miss me, Jean! Take this. Please enjoy it. It's a snack. There you go. Thank you, Natalie. You better leave now. We're gonna have a man talk. Well... Uh, let me tell you. The way you work is pretty weird. I have a friend that... basically did the same. Hmm. He showed, as a plumber, and of course... they let him work around the house. So he had a lot of time to check it out. With her trust, he checked out every place of the house to find anything worthy. And then he robbed the house. He's in jail now. Cheers. I don't know. Maybe someone in the company is a snitch and gave away information. That's how it's done. We were thinking the same thing. Do you know who the snitch is? Mm -mm. If Feather Case goes to court, they cannot take him out that easy. Don't wait any longer. I'll help you talk with that trash to get the information out. Yeah, we checked everyone, and we found nothing. Who answers the phone? Who takes the calls? Uh, uh that's Miss Margaret. You see? It could be her. And I don't think so. She's retired. She's got grandsons. She's a sweet grandma. Well, there was a grandma in the 90s. She would steal trucks on the road. <laughs> and with a hunting rifle. <sighs> Why aren't you drinking? I never drink alone. I'm telling you, it's her. And why do you smell like vodka? It was a man's conversation. I see. Margaret, do you hear uh -huh. me? We're leaving. Is it time already? Okay. <laughs> We're leaving? Please. Now? Close the window in my office and don't stay too long. All uh, right? Oh, yes, I'll do it. I'll close it. You go now. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, sure. Be careful. Uh-huh. I'll stay and clean up a little. Then I will go. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Let's go, hurry. In the closet? Get in. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Hello? Hello, it's me. I have a job for you. Maslow Street, number six, apartment 13. They just left. I'm alone. Just hurry up. Anything else? Yeah, yeah. Remember, you've got to be quiet. And we've never talked, okay? Okay, go. <gasps> You see, I told you so. Oh. Good morning, Margaret. Take a seat. Good day, Margaret. Come on, take a seat. Confess. Since when did you start cooperating with the criminals? Are you one of them? What are you talking about? I don't know anything. Because my body is locked up because of you! <gasps> Stop the bull. And tell us, 
Who are you working for? How much are getting paid for it? Uh, to be honest, I don't get much out of this. I've been here for just a week, and I didn't expect that Feather got injured. I swear, it was Sonia's idea. She asked me to. She said that we are gonna get a lot of money, and I have grandchildren to look for. And I'm retired, so I took it. They don't kill people, they just steal luxury apartments. But they don't harm honest people. <laughs> I swear, they never harm anyone. They just steal and leave. They're Robin Hood. <laughs> That's what I thought. <gasps> I'll call the police. Good, I'll go now. I don't want to I didn't want to stay do and chit chat with the police. I did it. Thanks a lot. If you need anything, let me know. Oh, please don't do this to me. Stop whining, Margaret, please. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I finally got him. This gang's been giving me a headache for a long time. So when is Fedor coming out? Huh, Fedor. I need him in my company. He's not just an employee. Well, it's that someone else came forward. He lost his money when your employee was working there. That's why Fedor's still under he arrest. He is an idiot. His wife called. She found three more bags with money on the pipelines. The repairing has already started. He's an idiot. Who hides money there? Although you must keep it. Well, it doesn't matter. I'll release Fetter. Thanks a lot. I'm sorry for all the inconvenience. Apologize to Fetter, not to me. I will. Kalina. Hi, what Fetter. Are you doing here? I brought you a jacket. <sighs> here. Thanks. Should I take you home? I'll walk. Oh, come on. Hey, are you hungry? Let's go eat someplace. If you want to. Yeah, sure, let's go. <laughs> Their engines are, are the most powerful ones. The combat ones are the biggest out there. They fly like this, and they spin from side to side, and that's how they land. Like this. And then they come down like this. Okay. Up and down, up and down. I see. Hurry up. We're here. Uh, well, I'm leaving. Um, do you want a coffee? No, no, I'm sorry. Thank you so much. Bye. Karina. Come in. Thank you. Uh, your coat? Take this. How are you? You're back. That's right. Uh, uh, I better go. Yeah, please leave. Uh, and the coffee? <laughs> Nina, come on, what are you doing? I'm packing. Where are you going? 
I'm not leaving. You are. I came running from Italy. I left everything because they told me that you were in prison and I find you with another woman. They set me free. Yeah? Yes. Just great. And you're going to celebrate with that fake Don't blonde? Don't say that to her. And now you defend her. Get lost! Nina. You stink! Nina, think about it. You moved to the office. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Well done. <laughs> Good morning. Feder, come to my office, please. <sighs> Did she kick you out? No, she didn't. Yeah. I left. Mm. Mm. Where are you going to live? Well, here, if you don't mind. There's no problem. I'll go to work. Okay. Are you Nina? Good morning. It's me, Karina. Yes, it's me. Calm down, please. I can go to your house so we can talk. I'll explain everything to you, okay? Just... It's okay. Nina... I came back just for you. Hey, why did you leave me? You left me with those Italians. They were speaking things and I didn't understand what they were... Nina, I bought you a present. I missed you. A lot. <laughs> Forgive mm -hmm. me. Look. This is for you. Hmm? My baby? <laughs> My little one's so cute, so strong. And look. I signed the contract to buy the paintings. And all I need to get this translated. Will you help me? Can you do it for tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who's my sweetheart? Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who is it? Your husband? Boris, you stay here, okay? Here. I've come to explain everything to you, Nina. You have to listen to mm -hmm. me, okay? The thing is that Feder loves you very much, and he will never do anything to hurt you. Please believe me. Yeah. He is the most loving husband in the world, and you must forgive him immediately, I think. And I wanted to tell you that. Sweetheart, do you have a tissue? There you go. Good day. Uh, hello. Uh, I think it's a bad moment to speak, don't you think? You're busy. Nice to meet you. Goodbye. Goodbye. And now she's gonna tell the useless. Who is she? His lover? Yesterday he told me she was her boss. Uh, oh, perhaps. It doesn't matter. Office affairs are worth nothing. Is that what you think? Well, I didn't mean the two of us. Mm. Really? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Listen, I gotta go. And you, go and translate. Where? You're not staying? Nina, I didn't sleep all night. There was a baby crying through all the flight and you... Mm -hmm. You have to translate. Mm? Mm. 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 And you finish this, and then you and me. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Bye, love. Hello? <laughs> yes, darling. 
It's me, honey. I just got here yesterday. I missed you a lot. I really missed you. Yes. <laughs> Will I see you at my place? We're no longer students to be hiding, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I see in an hour. Bye. I love you. Bye. Who could it be? Whoa. Hi, baby. <laughs> Didn't you were translating? I did it overnight. You said it was urgent. Uh... They finished remodeling? Um, um, you said it would take at least two more months? Uh, they did it when I was gone. The workers are really fast. It's really nice. How beautiful. <sighs> Nina, listen. I need to go. I have business to attend. I must go and... It's okay, I'll wait. Here? <laughs> of course. I'll wait for you and I can cook your favorite uh, dinner. Just don't touch anything. Everything is too high tech and I don't want you to break your nails with something. Just be careful, honey. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. I'll see you uh, at noon. But <laughs> don't touch anything, I mean it. Mm -hmm. Go to your meeting. Mm. I'll wait here for you. Remember, don't touch anything. I got it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Give me the address. Really? Mm -hmm. She just kicked out my friend, and now she has her lover in there? That's disgusting. And Feather knows? Not yet. Yes, of course. They are on their way. I don't know if I should tell him. Mm. It will hurt How him. How can we tell him without hurting him? Uh-huh. Uh, did Nina call? No. <clears throat> Buddy, let me tell you a story. One day, I went to see a customer to put some shelves, and her husband came back unexpectedly from a trip. I was doing my work, and when I opened the closet, what do you think happened? Her lover was there. What would you do in that situation? About what? Would you forgive your wife if somebody tells you that maybe she has, you know, a lover? Um, I don't know. Um, maybe yes. You're really special. Good morning. Of course. What is your name? Hell, it's Nina Golovanova. Uh, uh, everything is soaked and I don't, I don't know what to do. Yes, of course. I get it, I get it. No, no, oh, no, no, it's better if somebody else goes. Gene, go with him. His wife is the one who called. Go, now. Buddy, wait, I'll go with you. Uh, oh. 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 I'm coming. I'm coming. Ah! Thank, uh, thank, thank God you're here. The stove exploded and the water is flooding the kitchen and my boyfriend is going to kill me. Please help. Better? She's my wife. Uh, nice to meet you. Oh, hello. What is she doing here? Hmm. Preparing dinner. Buddy, uh, how is it that you are able to be so, so calm? And with Boris, what happened to her? Her boss. Oh, I get it. Don't tell me that she's always preparing him his little dinner. Shrimp pasta looks tasty. How nice. Seems normal. And what if Boris comes back and finds in his apartment her husband fixing things. Mm. Nina! 
Nina, what happened here? I told you. Boris. Why is there so much smoke and water? I told you. I was gone for two hours from my beautiful and renovated home, and then I come back and I found a circus with two clowns. What are they doing here? Come down, dude. Come down. Boris, this is Fedor. My husband. He will fix everything. He's already fixed it. Nina, I can understand that you came without telling me, but you bringing your husband uh, here? It was just an accident. Everything got on fire and the water came out. So I called the handyman ad to fix everything. Don't you know where your husband works? Yes, I know. You told me that he was a scientist. I was. We fixed everything. There will be no more problems. Jean, the invoice. I'll wait outside. Don't be late. No discount? It applies for being relatives. Don't worry, I'll pay. It was my fault. Let the guy pay for the service. You pay. What is wrong with this woman? She has a husband, but she wants to love her. You know what she is? Yes, Nina is my wife. Don't say anything. Come on, Greg, come on. And your beloved Nina was gonna get rid of your rust bucket. Don't let her treat you like that. Ask her for a divorce, and you'll see how she comes back running after you, begging you to come back. I can imagine on her knees saying, Feather, come back, please. It's up to you if you get back together. I won't say anything to you. Gene, what did you think? Is he an honorable man? <laughs> Buddy, you're unbelievable! What are you thinking? I only wanted to surprise Really? You. Well, you did it. Oh, hey, no, please. I love you, my little Nina, goat. Nina, I ask you not to call me my little goat. That's awful. Uh, so, sorry. I had a little goat in the country named Boris. Like you, it was so handsome. Listen, in fact, it's time for you to leave. Time for what? To leave? Mm, to your house. Hey, Boris, I just left my husband. Now nothing stops us from being together. Together? <laughs> what do you want? Hey, do you think two or three translations will make me ask you to be my woman for real? No. But you said that we were good together and we had fun and... And we had fun, but it's over, okay? Go home with your husband, solve your problems with him and... Be happy. And the translations? There are other translators. I'm sorry. Hey, beautiful, tell me, do you speak Italian? <laughs> That's cool. Good girl. Because I urgently need a translator. <clears throat> of course, all that, and there will be many trips abroad. I think that I'm done with my wife forever. Better, I'm so sorry. I just need time to assimilate all this. Do you want a day off? It's not necessary. I'll be good if I'm busy, 
Better give me a job. Fetter. <sighs> huh. A tough one. Hey, man, I'm going with you. I'm better alone. I'm sorry. <clears throat> if I was him, I would kick your. <laughs> Alex, that's enough! It went down the drain! But why are you so distracted? I'll go for a rack. Oh! I'm sure that it's gonna no, swell. Let's see. What do you wanna see? You don't even know what to do! I stay here! Do you think this will affect the neighbors? Just leave it like that. You can fix it. I already called an expert and everything will be fixed. So, should I go? Good Hi, afternoon. Camille. What happened here? A disaster. If you need anything else, call me and I'll come. Mm -hmm. Just leave, beginner. You'll break it down even more. Well, mm, the basin is covered and there is a loose shelf. The door doesn't close. Look, even this thing dropped off. Uh, it just came out. Hmm, I'll fix it. Miss, the sink is okay now. Oh, thank you so much. I wish I had a husband like you, and not just for an hour. I mean, I want him for a longer time. You know, for all my life. Well, just a little younger. It's okay. I get it. You know how difficult it is to find a good man? Practically impossible. I don't like to go out that much, I work in a women collective. Are you married? Yes. Where did you meet your wife? Um, in the subway. Hmm. Yeah. I'm already 20. And not a single suitor. I will be alone all my life. Wasn't that guy your boyfriend? The guy who left? The nearest one? No, that's my neighbor. I dream for someone better. Someone really cute, tender, someone who's kind, rich, and responsible. Someone who takes care of me. Ugh. What's your name? Masha. Masha. I'm going to my office now, but you stay right here and don't move, okay? I'll be right back. <clears throat> Buddy, are you done? I have to go back. I needed some tools. Do you need help? <clears throat> no, thanks. It's a girl's apartment, and it's a disaster. Nothing works at all. A girl? Uh-huh. Is she pretty and young? She's pretty. Is she married? Well, she needs a good man, or her apartment will be destroyed one of these days. Uh, hey, buddy, listen. Don't you want to rest? You need it. And I will help the little princess in your place. Come on, please. Mm, I need money. Hmm. All right. I fixed the sink, and there's a okay, shelf missing. I will behave. I'll be up to the task. Hey, you sure she's pretty? Only flowers or wine, too? Jean, I don't know. <laughs> Both things. <laughs> uh, Jean, get in. Can you start the engine, please? Now. 
How'd it go with Masha? Ah, uh, that wasn't Masha. That was a flood, an earthquake, a fire, all in one. Now I understand why they kept all women locked in a tower guarded by a dragon. Because a coming guard wasn't up to the task. I think that she's a pretty girl. A little clumsy. Did you fix everything? Of course not. It requires a titanic labor. She sits on a chair and breaks a leg. She takes a cup and it breaks down. She stirs the coffee machine and short circuit. And what do you care? You have to fix it all. I'm sorry, but I will not go back anymore. Ah! I think I'll check on her. Gil is not coming back, right? Uh, he's somewhat busy. Yeah, I get it. I didn't like him at all. No, it's not that. Don't lie, it's true. I once broke my arm on a date. Huh. Yeah, and it's always the same. I get all clumsy and even confused. I say nonsense and the more I like a guy, the more I make it worse and I like Jean. You're talking really well now. I hope I can find someone on the internet. But even here, they don't answer me. I cry to them and nobody cares about me. I don't want to know, that's too personal. I don't care. Just listen to me and tell me honestly why they don't answer me. Here it goes. I dream about meeting the perfect man more than anything in the world. But I haven't met him yet. Maybe because I'm not pretty, I'm silly and I have a luck. And I'm sure you will not answer to this message. What do you think? I don't know much about this, but why did you say you're ugly and silly? Come on, look at me. It's not true. Besides, you can lie a little bit. I want to be honest. Write this down. Young, funny, and smart. Mm. With a good sense of humor, with great ambitions, wants to meet a young, handsome man with a good sense of humor, well-educated, looking for a friendship. Well-educated, looking for a friendship. Answer the ad with a photograph. Photograph, yeah, done. Perfect. This is delicious. I love this kind of food. So what are you up to now? Oh, okay. I can see. Yeah, no, I'm happy. It's nice. Really, yes. Listen, leave your business. Your job. It's not for women. All of this is too personal for you. You worry about everything. And no, that's not good. And no, you will not get rich with this kind of business. Did you invite me just to tell me that I'm stupid and that I can't handle a business? And if I did, what is wrong with that? Tell me. I better go. Enjoy your meal. Karina! May I come in? Sure, come in. I was just passing by, and I saw you here, and I'm I'm not interrupting you, am I? Right? Or were you going to sleep? Not yet. I wanted to read a little bit. Oh, good. I don't have time to read. If you ever want to chat, or if you need anything, or whatever, I, I'm just glad to be here and listen to you. Are you hungry? Hungry? No. I've got pies. Are they pineapple? Cherry. I like them, too. Good. Do you want a cup of tea? Yeah, sure. Well, at this time, you are the boss, so treat me well as your guest. Sure. I won't be long. Hurry up! Do it fast, faster! Wait, the wiring is in two parts, so it's hard if it's like that. What are you doing? They told me that if I invert the polarity of the face, I will cause a disaster, and that is what we want. <laughs> mm. This is my cat, Timothy. I found him in a trash can. Look how fat he is now. <laughs> yeah. Didn't you say that you only had one cactus? Yeah, but since I'm almost never home, he would miss me a lot, so I left him with mm -hmm. my parents. My son Nikki has an allergy, so I took my cat to the country with my mom. 
I thought about bringing it back. And did you? Mm-mm. <laughs> what happened? Plan B just work. Let's go. Come on. Call Glenn. Tell him it's done. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. It's very hard. I can't wait anymore. Sorry, if I do it like this... Yeah, uh, we are close. M more. Uh, uh, yeah, like grab this, it good. Like this. Don't okay. let go. Yeah, Don't keep, let go. Go. keep doing it. Uh, there you go. Uh, yeah, almost. Oh, there it is, uh, almost there. Great, brother. Yeah. Uh. It's working now. <laughs> You're really something, huh? It's so good that we found this generator. It's our salvation. And tomorrow, no worries. We can work. <sighs> okay, I'll go now. Where? Home. Why? Uh, yes, sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, see you tomorrow. Get some rest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> it's really uncomfortable to sleep like this. I'm not like asleep. This. Uh, I'm not <laughs> asleep. Oh, hi. I see you're studying anatomy. Gene. Mm. <laughs> Handyman, good morning. Yeah? Yeah? Buddy, Masha, the crazy one, is calling you again. Wait a minute. There's another tsunami. Uh... Our expert is on his way. Yes. But I fixed everything yesterday. But it's Masha. There's another tsunami. What? I'll take a guess. You made some tacos. No. We installed a generator. You installed a generator. <laughs> and it was the best night of your life. That's <laughs> enough. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Uh, I fell in love and I messed it up again. What happened now? Well, I wrote exactly what you told me and a guy answered me yesterday. This is the first time someone sent me a nice message. No one has ever written to me like that and I even printed it out as a souvenir. What happened to the toilet? Uh, I dropped the cat little box by accident because I was in a hurry. Now listen to this, but pay attention. What's up, beautiful? I love your picture. Hmm? Give me your number. If you have an apartment, we could spend the afternoon together. Let's have a coffee or let's watch a movie. About me, I like to read in the park. I'm fun, tall, I'm 25 years old. What should I do? Uh, bring me a towel. I have to clean the obstruction. Uh, but what should I tell him? Masha, don't answer that one. Look for another. Another? He's the only one that answered me. It's my big shot. Where am I going to find another one? Hi, Masha. Uh, the door was open. What do you want? The salt. Uh, I need it for my experiment. I finished it. <sighs> Here, take it. He studies? Mm hmm uh, Bring me the towel. And you better tell me what I'm going to say to him. I don't want him to back down. I need to meet him. Masha, I think that inviting some stranger is not the best idea. My dad told me the same. Listen, I don't want to be alone forever. If you don't want to help me, Take mm. the towel and fix the toilet. Yeah. I will write the message alone. What just happened? Hey, 
Fix it now. I was writing the message and I'm going to remember it. It was amazing. I've never written something that beautiful in my life. Where's the box? What box? The fuse box. You know where the energy comes from? What box are you talking about? The message is gone and nobody's going to love me. I will never get married. Are you listening to me? Listen. Stay here. Don't do anything. And don't move. Do you understand? Okay. What are you doing here? Um, trying to fix it. And what are you fixing? Uh, uh, I thought I had enough power. There was foam, the fuses melted, and then everything blew up. But it's okay now. I already have the spare parts. I know what to do. I'm going to check everything mm -hmm. and fix it. I don't know what mm -hmm. went wrong, but I solved it. Do you know you almost caused a fire? Mm, good. Mm -hmm. Come on, show me what you're doing. <coughs> Look in that <coughs> jar. I have a solution decomposed into hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen is in this jar. Does it contain a special solution? It smells like chlorine. It has salt. Masha gave it to me because I didn't have any. It's the one I With used. With Masha, ah, it's clear now. Sodium bicarbonate and baking powder. That's why the foam was made. Now the notes. There. Hmm. <clears> hmm. <throat> hey, why did you want to get a six kilowatts spark, and why are you doing this at home? You think it's a lot, right? Are you sure you know about this? Um, in fact, I'm an engineer. I design aircrafts, and I also studied physics. The reality created by modern physics has been eliminated from reality from the first days. I bought this book the teacher recommended. Mm hmm Who wrote it? Uh... It was you. You should read before you do experiments. You threw money in the trash. I'm a fast learner, sir, and I study all night. Tell me something. Did you know Masha is single? Do you like her? She's looking for a boyfriend on the internet. I've tried many times to talk to her, even help her out. But when I'm with her, I get super clumsy. I get my head confused and... One in the same. Do you know if she found someone on the net? Somebody serious? Uh, a, a boyfriend. She's only found silly and stupid men on the internet. Well, <sighs> I must repair the electric box. You clean here. And you'll know what to do. With Masha. Yeah. Hello? Masha, what's up? I can't see my dates on my computer. Can you fix it? I'm too far. It's better if you go and ask your neighbor Alex. I think he knows better about computers, much more than I do. And I think that he likes you, but he's too shy to say it. He thinks that you consider him a nerd. Really? I don't believe you, Feather. I can do it without your help. Could you go with me to see him, please? Sorry, I've got another call. for vinegar and I gave you soda. Yeah, but I asked you for salt. Uh. <laughs> we both are clumsy. We are. Yeah. <laughs> Meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> if you don't give me the article by tomorrow, you'll be out of this place. Understood? It's not my fault that Semyonov writes about the fire in the plant. And Basili, by the way, he is at the opening of wine and vodka production again. It's the second time this month. Uh, what about the dog show? How's that? Are you kidding me? Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> look, look, the newspaper Night City, it says that because of a police error, an innocent employee of the company, Handyman, was almost condemned to the state prison. The customers and the grateful residents went to the police to demand his immediate release. What do you think about that? Do it. <sighs> you're, you're late. I'm sorry. After the ad, we've got a lot of calls. <laughs> yeah, that's good. People trust us. Well, the thing is, you need to hire more employees. And an accountant and a supply manager. Here. This is to congratulate you for passing your testing period. And now you're a member of our company, so... Screwdrivers? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I chose them, and they also have an inscription. Thanks. Oh, shoot. <clears throat> Hello? Yes, we're closed. Do you know what time it is? Yeah. Call tomorrow. Goodbye. Uh, it's unbelievable. You don't know what people are up to at these hours. I see. I'm going home with the cactus that is waiting for me. Bye. 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 Uh, see ya. Look. This is for you. Did you bake them? No, but I went to buy them. <clears throat> May I? Here, Jean. If you got a big <laughs> family, you must eat quick. I'm even capable of making myself look as the youngest and most beloved son whom they give everything. Hi, what is that? Mm -hmm. Hi. A family breakfast? But this is all for me and I am not sharing. Give Basically, me a little Let's go, the clients are waiting. <laughs> I wanted some. Handyman, good morning. What can I do for you? What? Wait, buddy, I'm not understanding. Uh, uno momento. Hola. Entiendo. Sí, claro. Sí, le ayudaré. Su dirección? Espere por nosotros. Muy bien. Buddy, I'm proud of you. Foreigners. <laughs> the stove went off and problems with the refrigerator. Let's go. Yeah. Esto es simplemente inaceptable. Es un trabajo horrible. Soy ingeniero en sistemas aeronáuticos, pero no entiendo cómo funciona una estufa. Simplemente no lo entiendo. Richard. ¿Qué? Tranquilo. Un especialista está en camino. Él arreglará todo. Hey, what did he say? That we are going to fix it. Tell them that we're going to fix it. Tell them. Un momento. Okay. Y el refrigerador también, por favor. What did he say about the refrigerator? The refrigerator. Ah, I knew it. We have to go to our office, but we haven't had breakfast yet, and we don't want to be late to sign the contract. Everything will be okay. okay Bien, please. por favor. Mira. Me imagino que alguna clase de genio trabaja en este lugar. Tal vez. Buddy, what are they saying? El hombre que escribió esto es Of work. It seems they are scientists. They came to sign a contract. No puedo entender cómo esto es posible. Hi. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Hello. How what you can doing? I do for you? I don't have much time. We came to interview your... Your... Um, what's his name? Fetter. Yeah, him. Ah... Uh. And who's the boss? I'm the company manager of Handyman. Fedor is my employee. He went to do a service. I see. Now what do we do? Uh, good. Let's talk with you. Yes, of yeah. course. Get ready. <laughs> We're starting with her, all right? Uh, uh, um, Roll, tell me something, miss. Is it true that your secretary works with the criminals? Unfortunately, yes. 
it's really important to understand what happened. I almost made a terrible mistake, but we're not here to talk about me. Feder is coming back soon. You Cut. can talk to him. When is he coming back? I don't know. You should have called before coming. But, but we called. When? Yesterday. Yesterday? For real. Hey, that one right there looks like Feder, doesn't he? Uh, what? No. <laughs> Do you think I look like him? How can you say that? No way. If Feather doesn't come, we're going to be on TV, right? Tell me I'm right. Well, 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 yes, they have told us that even our mothers won't tell the difference. We really look alike. We need to volver a redactar estas preguntas, no lo crees? I think that Michael is not that good at this. What? It has to be with the method of solid particles. There's a different calculation method. So, go and tell them. I don't want Do to. Do it. Tienen problemas? Let's tangle la solución. Para eso está mi compañero. And I go. Mm. Good. Sit down. Explain it to them. This is about the assembly of an aircraft engine that works with the principle of pulse detonation. The engine must accelerate the aircraft at a speed of Mach 3. ¿Y qué es eso? Three times the speed of sound. A totally new way of calculation is applied. Pregúntale cómo lo sabe. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, uh, Fedor. How can an employee of a maintenance company knows that much about aircraft engines? Tell me. <laughs> Nuestro personal está capacitado. Se escucha. Tal vez él es de la KGB. Fred, ¿cuál KGB? Esta es información pública. Nos advirtieron que esta gente nos sorprendería. Creo que esto nos ayudará, ¿ok? Perfecto. Vamos. Hmm. Well, I think it's something like this. Es perfecto. This is very interesting. We will go back to the Investigation Institute to discuss a possible financing for this project. Would you come with us and help us? If your calculations are correct, we can secure a very good deal for our company. What do you say? Say yes, it's your shot, buddy! Mm, thanks a lot. Mm. <laughs> but I can't. The customers are waiting. Uh, hey, buddy. Let's go. What are you doing? You could be famous! Uh, Let's no go, Jim. It's incredible. This is impressive. You cannot take credit from another person. Why not? We always do the same. Okay. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Thank you. <gasps> you will not regret this. Don't think that we only look the same. In fact, I'm a hundred times better than him. I'll do whatever you want. Look! <laughs> I can move my ears. Basil, tell it's him. It's not uh, necessary. Just say, you are a fetter. Uh, what's your last name? G Golovanov. Good. Fetter Golovanov. Like that. Uh, yes. Talk to me about the apartment robbery, but say it as if it happened to you. But try to say it truthfully, as if you had lived it, actually. Yeah, yeah, sure. Listen, and I'm going to be on TV. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Let's roll. Are you ready? Do I look good? All good. Yeah. Don't mess it up. Perfect. You ready? We're rolling. Uh, there? <laughs> well, I went to work. Yeah, I was in a hurry. And I called Basil, and then Basil told me... He told me... Paul, be careful. And then... Uh, Wait, I did good? It's my first time on TV, you know? Did I miss something? Why are they here? No, okay, let me it's see. an interview. Uh, That's weird. One more time. I thought you'd be right. here alone. Sitting in a yeah, dark place, yeah, as hill, answering calls Why so I came dark? to help you. Wasn't he... Wait, Karina, didn't the power went out? Are... Yes, yesterday. That's great. Fetter installed a generator, but well, well, how do you know that? Couple minutes. Uh, yeah, I was doing my job, and Basil told me, Hey, pal, we have to do a special work in here. Uh, and as I'm Fetter, the great hand. <laughs> Was this your idea? This is not gonna work. That's what I said. Do I still look good? <sighs> sure. If you say so. Oh, thank you very much. Hey, Basil. I am a star. <laughs> you are an imposter. Feather is the one going on the credits. Uh, 
Who cares about that? What's important is to be on screen, am I right? Uh, huh? Fedder is my employee. He went to do a service. You cannot take credit from another person. Yeah, thanks. Mm, see ya. Hey, why are you worried about Fedder, huh? You weren't like that. Why do you care that much? Aren't all your employees the same? Is he special? Yeah, he's special. Is this an office affair? You know how it went. You have changed a lot. Hey, hey, don't go. Just a minute. I can give you some ideas for your next story. I have stores and I'm planning to spend the... Hey, who are these people? Journalists. They did an interview. Aw, oh, buddy, we missed the good part. Fetter, I'm sorry. They couldn't wait for you. I tried, but they didn't want to wait. Was the story about your company? Yes. I told them to wait for you, but they said they were in a hurry and... And you're going to be on TV? That's right, but I so want So it was to... about the company? It's going to be Please. a hit. We have to celebrate. What hit? I'll bring the champagne. Fetter. You really know, buddy? What a mess. Why? Was it that terrible? Really bad. Hi, Nina. How was Italy? Very good. Did you buy designer shoes? Yeah. Hey, your husband fixed the TV for us. Mm -hmm. Thank him again, please. I will. Nina, the toilet broke down and my wife wants me to fix it. But I don't know anything <sighs> about plumbing. You know how she gets if I don't fix it and I haven't seen Fedder in a long time. He went on a business trip. But he doesn't like to fly. How did he do it? By train. So then he flew in a train, huh? Very good. That's weird, huh? Take care yes, of him. Yes, he did that. Oh, oh, Nina, what are you doing? Be careful. I've just washed everything. Watch where you're going. Look at all this. Now I'll have to clean it again. Feather fixed the clothing line a few days ago. Now he's gonna have to fix it again. And now you've ruined it completely. You should take care of a man like Feather, not fooling around with little boys. If I were you, I would be with Feather. My relationship with Feather is going really well. Exactly what I said. I just haven't been here for a while. He will come back soon, Nosy. Oh, great. And stop messing in other people's lives. I hate oh! you. Oh! Listen oh! well, dear neighbor. Oh! Fedor oh! and I are really good together. Oh! And if I say he's coming oh back, coat. it's because he's coming oh! back. Are you Fedor? Yes. I'm Glenn. Haven't Karina told you about me? No. I know that you and Karina are working together now. That you are... really busy. Repairing scenes and putting spotlights. <laughs> you know, Feder, I think I understand you. Karina is a beautiful woman. And I see that you... don't know how to seduce her. What do you want with her? Have you thought about your life with her, huh? That's the point. You're not the man that she needs. Karina is exhausted about this business. If she marries me, her problems will be solved. No broken bathrooms or angry clients. You showed up and you ruined everything we had. Don't mess with my relationship. Karina is not for you. You know well that Feder and I are husband and wife. We have a family, we have a son. Look, that's our wedding. So nice. We've been together for 20 years. We're meant to be together. Feder is the only man in my life. And I love him. I love him. <laughs> and I feel that you should respect our relationship. Uh, but I saw you with Boris. That was a mistake. And I'm sure Feder would have forgiven me if you hadn't intervened and put him against me. Don't take him away from my family. Me? You! You! You got him into this job! And you came and washed his brain! But don't forget that you can't build your happiness over another person's misfortune! I what? Besides, they want Feder back in the Institute. Some foreigners are going to buy his project. And they invited me to do the translations. At last, Feder will be able to do what he loves. Do you know how many years it took him to get this? He's a bright engineer. And with you, he'll be fixing bathrooms all his life. Houses non-stop. That's not the best. Let him go. I demand that you do it right now. 
Please tell me that you're gonna do it. Please don't yell, he's not even here. I'm not yelling, I'm just a drama queen. And get this once and for all. Fedor will never divorce me. He's too loyal and devoted. Yes, I know that. Then, stop wasting your time. And his time. I heard now you. Now please, think about it. Or I will. Back to yell you. Has he told you he loves you? No. <laughs> he told me on our first date. Mm? Fedor, I, I think, think that, that... Is that I... I... <laughs> speak. <sighs> maybe we rushed a little. It's better that you go back to Nina and work at the Institute. I also think that is the best for you. It's not for me. It's the best for you and Nina. And for you and Glenn, obviously. Yes, it's already been decided, so... What are we waiting for? I have never... <sighs> ...fired employees, but there's a first time for everything. You're fired. Go celebrate. <sighs> no, you go and celebrate. Michael, what are you doing here? Uh, let's talk man to man. I came to make amends. Forgive me, Fetter, for the whole thesis thing. The devil made me do it. Well, uh, my love, look, your favorite salad. And of course, your dismissal was a bit too much. But now we don't have anyone like you. Tell him, Nina. Come back to us. You'll have your own personal lab team. Whatever you want, just ask me. Personal translator, look, Nina accepted to help us, right? My love. My love, just think about it. Take your time. And we could work together. Yes, yes, all together. As a wonderful, big, and happy family. Is there black bread? Yeah, here it is. Take it. Mm. And I also made some hot wings. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's all for you. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Good evening. We are now visiting the handyman offices where our hero works. We were able to have a brief interview with Mr. Fetter. Federer became famous when he was falsely accused of robbery, which was clarified afterwards. Besides, we spoke with Karina, Federer's boss. Is your secretary working with the criminals? Uh, unfortunately, yes. It's really important to understand what really happened. I almost made a terrible mistake. Federer is coming back soon. You could talk to him then. Better. Mind your love. <laughs> what have you decided? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's just... Everything is... Is what? 
Everything will be okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. The way it was. My dear love. Oh, come on! Huh? What's wrong? <laughs> Just homework. Mm. 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 Hey, mm. I'm going to see him. He maybe needs help. Oh, baby. I'll be right back. Be right back. Won't be long. Wait, wait. What's wrong? What happened? This thing just broke down. And at the very last moment, I will be presenting in class tomorrow and this crowd just broke down. Okay, Nick. Such passion about studying. Dad. I've never seen you like this. Dad, don't touch it. It's not a sink. It's something really complex for you. Do you think I'm going to make it worse? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Why are you so worried about this project? Why does it matter so much? It's not just a project. There's a girl that I like. We hung out in a group, and she said she liked them smart and strong. <laughs> so I guess I have to become as strong as Schwarzenegger. Do you love her? Mm, that's good, son. And what do you mean by that? Uh, done. It works. Hey, Dad. You fixed it. Mm -hmm. I thought you worked in a company that only repairs sinks, but you can also do this. Dad, you're the best. I will tell everyone at school, okay? Well, let's see what happens. Because I think I'm going to work again for the Institute. Um, okay. Huh? Feder, congratulations on your promotion. Te dije que no confiaras en ellos. Estos tipos son espías. Did you like it? Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, Fedor, <laughs> I'm glad that we're going to work together. <laughs> and by the way, you have a lovely wife. She and I, we... We talked. Uh, yes, we talked a lot. Really? About what? About London, Fedor. About London. You know that I always wanted to go there. Well, Fedor, welcome. You get comfortable. This night, we're celebrating your return. The investors have a big surprise for you. You're help. gonna be very happy here. You'll see. I need help, please! <gasps> Fedor! It's a blessing that you're back! Oh my gosh, you're the only one who can help us! The pipe burst again! Only you can Harriet, help us! can't you see Fedor's the boss now? He's in charge of the lab and you embarrassed him in front of our new partners. <laughs> what were you thinking? <laughs> oh. So you better call a plumber. I called him, but he doesn't want to come. It's okay, I'll help her. Oh, Fedor, you're my you angel. Don't have to. I'm so happy that you're back. I really appreciate yeah. it. You will always Some be little my problem hero. With the pipes, you know, water pipes, you know. Hey, you could have knocked before. Why so bossy? Forget the documents and look what I have here. Get your clothes ready. We're going to go. Is this a joke? <sighs> No, we're not going there, Glenn. I've got a lot of work here, understand? What are you talking about? Karin, stop. I, I don't want to hear anything else. Come on, stop working and let's have some fun. Come on. Hey, Glenn. Is this the room you're going to make a hardware store? Who is it? Really? Huh? Listen, I told you to knock before. I have something to work out. Hey, what's going on? What's happening here? Uh, Glenn decided to redo this office for a new store. A store? Here in my office? Uh-huh. <laughs> That's great news. Behind my back? Are you going to replace my office? How dare you lie to me like that? What are you trying to do? Tell me. Karina. You know what? Both of you get out of here. <sighs> Just go now. Karina, stop the bull! I wanted to be nice with you! 
I gave you presents. I want to take you on a trip. Come down, my friend. All good? Like anything I do. Where's Feather? Uh, uh, he's, uh, uh, he's, uh, uh, he's not here. Mm, too bad. I wanted to ask him about some wiring problems. I bought a house. They're fixing it, but the contractor is lying to me. Ah, uh, uh, are you Glenn, okay? let me go. You're What's crazy. going on You're in here? You're hurting me. Leave me alone. Stop it. Mm. You Get stay here, here in case of... Uh -huh. Get out of here. Take me out by force. <laughs> you will regret this. <laughs> Hello. Uh, leave me alone. And take this pussy with you. Glenn, uh. don't go. Le don't leave me here. I know you. I saw you on TV. You said you were Feather. Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, but I won't do it again. You better not. He's not gonna do it again. Good. We solved the problem. But I don't get it. Where's Feather? He quit. And returned to his wife and his old job. And you just let him go? Uh, what could I do? What could you do? A man like Feather is hard to find. You gotta fight for him. Remember I warned you? I told you to call the plumber. Feather, tomorrow I'll call him first thing in the morning, I promise. It's not necessary, I've fixed it, don't worry. <laughs> Thank you, thanks a lot. Thank you, Feather. You're welcome. It's good we have a maintenance guy that can fix things around here. What are you talking about? Fedor is the boss managing the aircraft area. Treat him well. He will work with the foreign partners. That's what I'm talking about. He always do his job well and with the best quality. Mm -hmm. Look at this. To have someone like him that can fix everything in this place is just great. <laughs> Let's go. Exactly. It's in its place. Fedor. Please, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Your presence here. Let's go outside so you can see it. For what? I'm... I'm leaving. Is it true that in London everyone drives on the other side? Yes, it's true. <laughs> wow. They finally did it. Feather has a new car. And where's Greg, huh? It's in the junkyard where it belongs. Are you sure that the car is a good gift for Feather? Do you swear? Of course, yes. I know my husband very well. <laughs> Our new investors want to give you a present. They want to treat you as you deserve. This car is all yours. Here's the keys. <laughs> Where's Greg? Where is it? The tow truck just took it. <laughs> Very good. At what time does Fedor arrive? Alex and I want to invite him to our wedding. And I also want to ask him about my upcoming exam. They helped us a lot, and Feather is really the greatest one. We want to give him a present. Two tickets to travel anywhere he wants. And where is he? He's not here. And when he'll be back? Never again. But you can call him, right? We really need him. Please, call him. <sighs> yes. Even if he doesn't want to see me, I'm going to tell him everything. Please fasten your seatbelt. What? Please fasten your Don't tell me what to do, you shut up. Please fasten your seatbelt. You better not speak, just stop Please going, piece of shit. Hey, buddy, how you doing? I'm so worried about you. Dad, don't worry about Greg. It's all set, and he's waiting for you at home. What is this thing? Are you comfortable? Say the word, and I'll fix it. Come on, guys, let's go outside. I already asked them, but they don't listen. They will listen to me. Come on, everyone! Out to the hallway! Get out! That's Move it! it.
easy, my friend. You have to rest now. Yeah. <laughs> it's all my fault. I gave that car to Fedor and now I... What's going on here? You want to see Feather? Of course. You can't go in. He's with his wife. With that fake blonde? What is she doing here? I'm his wife. Is he that bad? He's really beaten, right? How did it happen? I was... Uh, going to see you. Hmm. <laughs> mm. I'm sorry, is it... Easy, calm down, uh... it didn't hurt. Just lie down. <laughs> It didn't hurt, for real. <gasps> mm. <laughs> London, International Conference of Science and Technology. Everything is okay. Let's take it easy. Everything will be fine. Come on. Thank you. Hello. Just as a person's heart is a source of life, the aircraft engine is a source of speed and power. Excuse me, please pay attention. Ladies and gentlemen, we have to stop the conference. What we are experiencing a problem with the fire alarm system. We have, we to, have to evacuate. What if we go and hide? We are very sorry for the inconvenience. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Excuse me. Where did it happen? Over there. I hope everything's going to be